Rescue teams have been searching through the homes that are still standing, making doors like this one, marking them with red paint as they look for survivors. President Joe Biden says he'll travel to Kentucky on Wednesday to see the damage firsthand. Six of the tornado victims were inside an Amazon warehouse in Edwardsville, Illinois, that's near St. Louis. And today OSHA announced it's investigating if enough was done to protect the workers there. The last time we had a tornado that powerful in our area was in June in Naperville. That's where we find CBS 2's Chris Ty. And the cleanup from the summer tornadoes, Chris, there continues six months later. Uh, while there is a lot of talk and advice on what to do when storms hit while you're at home, their downstate storms make it clear we should have workplace plans too. Very good point here, Brad, and we are talking about these EF3 tornadoes that whipped through this pocket of Naperville last June. Look behind me. You can see homes still destroyed, tarps still up, and a global supply chain issue that's leaving a lot of people's lives stuck in neutral. More rare are these December tornadoes that, as you talked about, just decimated parts of southern Illinois and now has one of the world's largest employers answering some questions. What went right? What went wrong? And what do you need to know when a tornado hits at work. It used to be a 1.1 million square foot Amazon delivery depot. Amazon says that between 8.06 and 8.16 Friday night, tornado warnings were signaled by both cell phone alerts and nearby sirens. At 8.27, the tornado struck. Of the 46 people inside, 39 of them made it to the north side of the building, site of a shelter-in-place location. Seven stayed on the south end. And that's where all six fatalities and one injury occurred. That's because on the south side of the building, there is no shelter-in-place locations. So why couldn't those seven make it north in those crucial minutes? We speculate, again, as John said, or is, is it was because of the work that they were doing at the time, they congregated on the southern side of the facility. Amazon today denying allegations that workers at this location aren't allowed to have cell phones on the job. Employees are allowed to have cell phones inside the facility. There's no prohibition against that. Uh, there are rules around what they're allowed to do with those cell phones. We do know that oftentimes employees put their cell phones in their bags or in their purse, so they may not have it on their person, but there's no prohibition against them having it. The company is saying that in those key minutes Friday night, leaders used bullhorns to notify workers on the floor and radios to notify drivers heading towards the facilities of the pending twister. May their memory be a blessing. The governor says while there's no early indication of code violations here, perhaps new codes need to be considered moving forward. We are seeing more and more of that, I might add, uh, throughout the state of Illinois. So it makes us wonder whether or not we need to um, change code based upon the climate change that we're seeing all around us. In a statement to CBS 2 News tonight, we heard from Amazon saying that they refresh emergency policies with employees every year. We heard from some former employees around Illinois today who used to work for Amazon. They say while phones are not always prohibited, sometimes they're told you have to leave them in your locker. And that creates a problem that if the phone is sending an audio signal that there's a tornado in the area, it's out of earshot. But they're quick to add many of these policies have ebbed and flowed during the pandemic. Live in Naperville, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News.